So let me go back to you here on that text, because we talked earlier this week, the notion of double headers and even potentially shortening games in order to try and get more of them in. Like, where is your head on stuff like that? Green, I think we have to be very careful how much we mess with a game that is built for a reason. I mean, nine inning games are very important to a roster construction. And frankly, teams that spend a lot of money and spend a lot of time building a great bullpen, which is what a lot of teams like the Yankees are doing nowadays, it's a huge disadvantage to teams with good bullpens. But I want to talk more about trying to squeeze as many games as you can into a shortened season. This is all about the money for the players and Major League Baseball. Baseball, and I get it. I understand that you want as much revenue as possible, but you have to be careful how much stress you're putting on players and how much you're actually changing the game. Well, let's talk about the stress you'd be putting on players. I assume primarily we're talking about pitchers and pitchers' arms. We see them somewhat dropping like flies anyway, just in the normal course of order here. Is, is that where your primary concern would be? Exactly. I mean, remember, guys started their off-season throwing schedule. You know, some, some guys start before Christmas, but they've been throwing already for four or five months. You're going to continue to stretch this season out longer. There's no doubt it's going longer. We can debate how long it should go. But you're going to have these guys, especially starting pitchers, get started, stop, start, stop. They don't know exactly how long they're going to have to be throwing. And then you're going to throw guys – you know, multiple times a week, potentially bullpen guys are going to be overused. So we have so many Tommy John surgeries and, and shoulder surgeries in baseball. We'll have more if we mess with the season too much. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That would be the biggest concern there. How about this notion that perhaps if they start this thing as late as July and, and we, we none of us knows when this is going to be able to come back. Uh, but the, the possibility this would stretch into November, something like December playing postseason games, World Series games, and neutral sites in domes and warm weather cities. How would you feel about something like that? So my rule would be once November 5th hits, you need to go to neutral sites. Because if you have a playoff game in Minnesota or New York or Cleveland, Chicago, in the mid-November, you could get completely wiped out. So I would say that the games go neutral starting in early November, and then by Thanksgiving, the season's over. For multiple reasons, football completely takes over the airwaves starting Thanksgiving. And then you can't have guys playing full seasons or, or getting into December or, or January and come around uh, three to five weeks later and go to spring training. Uh, again, the injuries would just be piling up if you only gave Major League Baseball players a one-month offseason. And again, it, whenever it is that we are able to start these players reassembling, uh, how long do you think they will need reasonably? Because we're, we're, we're talking about starting a whole new spring training over again with a clock ticking on the back end. How long do you think it takes from the moment they are given some sort of all clear until the day we can have whatever constitutes opening day? I think three weeks is reasonable. Baseball will probably go closer to four weeks. But for me, a week of workouts and two weeks of games, um, I think that makes the most sense. And I would go back down to spring training. I go to Arizona and Florida because there's no way that you can play competition. You're not going to be flying around. That would be the, the, the worst waste of time. So send everyone back down to Florida and Arizona three weeks and get going. All right. We'll see if it works out that way. Tex, good to see you. Thank you very much. You stay, you stay safe where you are, and we'll check in with you again.